Imagine never having to take meeting notes again while still capturing every important detail and action item. What if I told you that you could save up to six hours every week, eliminate miscommunication about who's doing what, and build a searchable knowledge repository that everyone on your team can access instantly. So today I'm going to show you how to build an automated system that joins your meetings, transcribes everything being said, creates perfect AI summaries highlighting all action items, and sends them to everyone who attended, at all without you lifting a finger. So this N8N workflow is a game changer for busy professionals, team leaders, and anyone who's ever felt the frustration of trying to remember what was discussed in last week's meeting. So by the end of this video, you'll have everything you need to implement this time-saving system in your own workflow. So let's dive in and transform how you handle meeting information forever. So for this workflow, we will need timeos.ai, okay, which is a meeting transcription tool. We will need N8N for workflow automation, obviously. We will need Google Drive for document storage, and we will need Gmail for sending summaries. Let me show you how to set up timeos real quick, okay? So it's pretty quick and easy. And when it comes to the pricing, you have up to 10 AI meetings for free. Okay, so that's good if you just want to test it out. And yeah, go ahead and try it for free. Okay, sign up. I'm not going to show you how to sign up, obviously. And then once you are on the dashboard, this is how it looks. Okay, depending if you have some meetings planned or not, you will see those meetings right here. And this will show you that you have um, properly connected time OS and actually let me show you how to connect it's very easy go to preferences then go, go to calendars and then it just shows you how to connect it okay I'm not going to click it I'm already connected and so basically once you're connected this will allow time OS to join your scheduled meetings automatically whether it be Google Meet Zoom Slack or Teams time OS will be able to join that meeting so the next thing we have to do is we have to set up a Google Drive integration. So you want to go to integrations and basically go to Google Docs. So not to Google Drive, Google Docs. And you have two options here, okay? As you can see, mine is already enabled. We want the second, create a Google Doc when AI transcript is ready, okay? You click on it. And this will open up. And the first thing you have to do here is select your folder where you want the transcript to be saved in, in Google Drive, okay? As you can see, I selected my folder meeting notes. So what you have to do is go to your Google Drive, create a folder, name it however you want it to, to, to be called. I called it meeting notes, you select it here, and then we go to the next step which um, is a special format formatting of the title that we need it to be because we will use those variables later in N8N. So it's very important that you put in transcript and then you select the meeting title and the attendees emails, okay? And the way you do that is basically, if I delete it, you can see if you type in the at sign, you can just select meeting title from here okay do the same thing with the attendees emails and everything that is in the path you can just delete it and then you save it and then you toggle it to on and that's already it for what you have to do in time os so let's go over the n8n workflow step by step so the first node we have is a google drive trigger let me open that and the first thing you will have to do is you will have to connect your Google Drive account. Okay, you can do that by clicking on that pen right here and then you have to enter your credentials. Okay, um, if you want to know how to find your credentials here for your Google Drive, you can just ask the AI assistant and it will perfectly give you the step by step instructions on how to find them and how to create them. With that being said, you will need a Google Workspace account and an email that is connected to your Google Workspace to use that properly. Otherwise, Google will want to verify your app 
during the process of getting your credentials, which can be a problem. Then, as you can see here, it's set to watch our meeting notes and, and check it every hour. As you can see here from list meeting notes, okay, changes involving a specific folder, which is the meeting notes folder, and it does it every hour. Okay, very simple. So the next thing is the information extractor node. So basically what it does is when a new transcript appears, we need to extract key information from that transcript. Okay, and this AI node pulls two pieces of data from the file name, which is the meeting title and the attendees email addresses that we set in time OS as variables, if you recall. And we'll use these later when sending emails and saving the summary. Next, we have the download transcript node, because what we are going to do next is we're going to download the transcript file using Google Drive, and we identify the file using its unique ID from the trigger. Okay, and what the output is here is a binary data of the document. And the next node is the text extraction node. Basically what it does is as we receive the output now in a binary data, we have to convert that binary document data into plain text, okay? We want the output in plain text. And this is necessary because the AI can only process text, not binary data. Next, we have the AI summary generator node. This is the core of our workflow. Okay, we use OpenAI connected to a basic LLM chain. So in here, you will have to connect um, your OpenAI. So let me show you, you will, you will have to connect your OpenAI account. Again, if you need instructions, just ask the AI assistant and it always gives you great instructions on how to do that. And then you connect it, okay, the information extractor with the basic LLM chain. And then in here we have a prompt, okay, which is a long prompt which instructs the AI to create a structured meeting summary with the list of attendees, a 100 to 150 word meeting overview, the key actions with owners and due dates, and an outline of specific meeting segments. And I'm gonna show you in a second on how that looks. And then also what it does is it formats the output as HTML for better email presentation. So next thing we have is the email sender node. Okay, we use Gmail to send the summary to all the participants. So this email includes the meeting title as the subject line, the formatted HTML summary in the body, and you can send it to just yourself. So this is, my email or to all attendees okay and finally we save the summary as a google doc so this creates a searchable knowledge repository and we use two google doc notes to do that first to create the document with the proper title and second to insert the summary content let me show you how that looks okay this is just a, a google doc note to create that document. And this one is to insert the content. So now let me show you the end result. So this is my folder meeting notes. Okay, so this was the first file that was created by TimeOS. This is the transcript. One exciting thing here, as you might notice, this is all in German, okay, this is, so basically what I did is I uploaded a recorded meeting that I had with my business partner, Andre, I recorded, we had a recorded meeting, I uploaded it right here to Time OS, and it gave me that transcript. We had that meeting in German, so the cool thing is the AI can translate your meetings and basically give you the output as you will see now the output is in english okay 
So this is the output. This is the saved repository of what I will get as an email as well. So as you can see here in HTML format, you see the whole output with the attendees, the summary, the key actions and the outline. And I'm going to show you how that looks in the, the email. So here's the email that I sent to myself. And as you can see, we got a clear list of attendees. Okay, we got a concise summary of the meeting. We got all key action items and we got a structured outline of the meeting. Okay, looks nice and clean and you can automatically have it being sent to all the participants. All right, and once you have set up all your credentials, you can just activate it and you can also test that workflow and it will run, run through and, and create everything that I just showed you and send it to your email or the email of the attendees every time you have a meeting that you start with time os okay so this entire process takes just a couple of minutes to run and completely eliminates the need to manually write meeting notes and it saves you so much time it, it ensures consistent documentation and makes information accessible to everyone okay so you can set this up once and let it run forever and automating a task that typically consumes hours each week is just super simple with such a workflow. So if you have any other workflows you would like us to provide in a video or you have questions for this workflow, let us know in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you like those kind of videos. Thanks for watching and happy automating.